Okay, this is a video uh, on LED um, lit drawers. It seems like a minor thing, but it's actually quite nice when you open up a dark drawer in a not so well lit kitchen and this happens. So you can see what's in the drawer. I got this idea from Ikea. They're I'm not a fan of their design and it doesn't seem like much light. So this is a basic rundown of how to do it. So if you'll notice, the light comes on once you open the drawer. I don't have any handles on here, so. Basically what this does, how this works, it's an LED light source. These are the particular brands that I use. You can use any one, but these are very thin and they're easy to work with and they're good quality, which is a Westgate. Um, and it is a 24 volt system. Uh, so you want to be uh, aware of the size transformer that you use. For example, this takes three watts, so it's not recommended if you put more than eight per string on it for a 24 watt uh, transformer. Now, this, I bought this kind of as a package uh, through TI Electric in, in West Palm Beach, but it used a sing-off power supply, and I'll show you that. So, I'll just show you the setup, and these are the reed switches that need to activate that. I'll go back to that in just a sec. So, you open the drawer up, the light comes on, it's nice, beautiful. How's it done? It starts with the transformer, and you have to get access to, obviously, 120 volt power. That's the actual transformer. So it transforms 110, steps it down to a, a 24 volt DC. So this is all low voltage that you run. Uh, here's the light itself, which is very bright. I use a 12 inch light, but you can get them in 8, 12, 16, and 24 for this particular product. Once again, I like this. It's a more substantial light. It's an aluminum body. Oops, it's an aluminum body. Um, and it's very, very thin. So that's why I like to use this versus a uh, tape. But the, the principle still works with an LED tape. I just don't think it's as bright. So you hook up the transformer. The power is interrupted by the switch. You need something to switch it on, which is a magnetic reed switch. Which I'll show you how that works. So I drew out a line on the drawer to see where the drawer actually stops. So that's one side of the reed switch, which has two wires. And I'll show you that up there. So that powers all of this. That's, uh, I don't know what the terminology is, but that's the reed switch itself. And this is the magnet that's mounted to the back of the drawer. Okay, so all of this is just continued up through. And each drawer has an LED strip and that's mounted to an aluminum bar underneath the drawer. That was a tricky part. <laughs> I was going to mount them to the drawer and the side of the drawer, but I wanted a light that is turns on in the middle and it's very thin. So I bought this aluminum bar at Home Depot, inch and a half, and I screwed it to the bottom of the tracks. So because I did, it was not too much room to interrupt and, and obviously you don't want things in the drawer hitting hitting that that was so it has to make it very very thin uh, so the power is interrupted the switch uh, which obviously the magnet is on the back and the reed switch is in there and they're mounted pretty close together they don't have to touch they just have to be in the area you get this off Amazon actually all of this stuff you can get off Amazon but I got it through TI electric in West Palm Beach so this magnetic switch, I think it's about $5. The light itself is, I think about $22, somewhere around there. Um, so this comes together. This is mounted on the wall. This is mounted on the back of the drawer. The two pieces that you want to use is the common and NC, which means normally closed. The drawer is normally closed. It activates a switch. Um, it closes, actually closes this, the electric switch once it becomes in contact and you only have to be about that far away. 
So it's common and NC, not NO, which is normally open. You could wire it the other way. So the lights go off when the drawer is open. These are these are handy. Oh, no, keep in mind this is all old low voltage, so there's not a whole lot of damage you can do. I'm gonna put all the wires together with a glue gun. Uh, because you wanna you don't want wires to catch in any of the areas, so they're very tightly wired in there. I also glued them to the back. Uh, and also I've tried, I started using this tape, which is a TPO tape. Um, I think the brand is uh, Sealfast tape. That's a very, very, very sticky tape um, that is, uh, uh, you know, white. And it kind of covers all the wiring. So if you want to just cover all that stuff, it just looks a lot better. I didn't do this in the first one. I have to go back and cover that. But that one transformer will run, <clears throat> it says up, up to eight lights in at once, but all the lights aren't on at the same time. So, the wire came off. Um, so all the lights aren't on at the same time, so you really can run quite a few, because you're not going to have all the drawers open at once. So I pre-wired this one. I have to go back and do a little housekeeping on the wires. But this, once again, this aluminum bar, there's no power to these. This aluminum bar is mounted to the screws. Make sure it doesn't get in the way of the in the way of the operation of the slide, the drawer slide. Is mounted to the bottom of this. And I like the aluminum bar because it keeps it relatively straight. Uh, you don't want to use too thin of one because it will bounce up.